Hello and welcome to Elgin Tech Forum. Today we are going to talk about a productivity tool focused on finance, that is FinChat.io. We have seen productivity boom in all areas of our life, whether how you learn something, how you search something, or even you plan your ne next vacation. However, finance, when it comes to finance, it's a little different because you want near real-time information and you need information which is free from all kind of biases. Near real-time information is very important because that can make or break an investment decision. It's not that there are not many free and legit tools are available for information, uh, finance information research, but FinChat.io can collate everything in one place and help you save time and expedite your research. However, I want to put a disclaimer here. This is not an investment advice and at the end of the video, I'm going to give you the affiliated link that you can use to subscribe to FinChat.io. With that, let's understand some of the free tools available and then we will spread drive into FinChat.io. So first we are going to go to sec.gov, security exchange commission.gov. Here you can see we have a tool called EDGAR, Edgar tool available. And what is Edgar? Edgar allow you to search company information, all the latest filing by them and historical archive. If you want to learn more about Edgar, I'm going to put this link in description from Investopedia. Here you can see what is Edgar, how you can re read report and all those informations are available here. However, this can be really time consuming, searching the Edgar tool. And on top of that, you need to go to multiple tabs and etc. So how awesome it is if we have a AI focus tool that can get us all this information and more. So let's dive into our topic of the day, which is finchat.io. I'm going to go to dashboard. I already subscribed to this. So you can see I'm logged in finchat version 4.4.6. And this is my default dashboard. It comes with a default dashboard and I didn't make any changes yet for demo purposes. Here you can see once you log in, you are landed into default dashboard on and then on left side you have this ribbon which has all the menus like copilot, dashboard, analysis, charting and also on and we will talk about that. On the top we have this uh, prompt available and this is embedded AI chatbot. That means where you can go and write your questions. Then obviously if you are tracking your stocks, there are notification, any new information landing with respect to that uh, stocks, that you will be prompted here. And then on the top, you can see we have three tabs, summary, performance, and news, and all the prominent market uh, real-time information is here. You can obviously move them around if you want. Uh, like if you are not doing much with Russell 2000, you can move them here and so on. By default, the dark mode is on. So what you can do, you can go to settings and you can toggle this, go to bright mode if you prefer so. I'm going to stick to the dark mode, like it better here. And then you can see we have owner mode. That's really interesting. So when you are analyzing your stock, many a time you are either uh, influenced uh, or swayed away by their prices. So what you can do, you can just put owner mode on and it will hide all stock prices so that you can only focus on the KPIs and not being influenced by the price, dollar price. All right. This is our default dashboard. You can always create a new dashboard here. So I'm going to go ahead and add Google here. So our stock is added. And then you can customize how you want to see, whether you want to see their cash position and their market size in millions or billions, a company like Google, toggle billion, and then other informations. This is how you can create your own dashboard. Also, once you create a dashboard, this is a nice summary and then you can go to performance and it will show you the performance one day, one week, and so on, right? You can go up to 10 years here. One of the most interesting feature what I like is going to news. Here you can see everything related to Google recently, company updates, investor relations, segment and KPI news, any annual or quarterly reported uh, reports what they publish and earning calendar, Everything is available in one stop. One stop here, you can see. Or the latest published one is as early as today. Google AI chief tells employee, blah, blah, blah. 
So any media coverage, any reports, everything is available here. Imagine you do not have to go and search at various places, read report and all those things. Everything is available here in one place. Let's go to our default dashboard because there we have more stocks. I'm going to go back to default dashboard. Again, go to news. Let's select NVIDIA. It will open another tab where it is solely focused on NVIDIA. And we will have the overview of the company, all the financials, how they are doing, their revenues and um, profit, etc. Any investor relations related information. So here you can see the whatever things were available in news, they are available here as well in investor relation. And you can actually play the transcript directly from the tool. So you have a lot of podcasts available. You do not have to go to individual company and listen to their quarterly call or any conferences they are being part of. You can all listen it from here. And also you can directly skip to question and answer. You want to know what analysts are asking, you can actually directly go to question and answer and listen to those specific information. So this is all about the first or the top tab where you have summary, performance and news. Next is analysis. Here you can have a detailed analysis of company and particularly I want to highlight the ownership, ownership tab. Here it is broken down into three insider ownership, traders ownership and holder. And you really want to understand how the company is owned, how much is the insider stake, if the insiders are selling, these can be like good indication of how company is doing. So this is, I really like this part. I'm not very big into charting, but if you are a trader, you could use this charting feature to your strength. So I'm not going to talk about this. And on top of that, again, if you are a technical analyst, you can create your own screeners. There are multiple screeners available that you can pick and create your own quant fund. What I really like is the resource tab. Here you can see we have the earning calendar, we have investor holding, and one of the cool feature is hedge fund letters. Hedge funds are uh, funds that manages millions and billions of dollars for their customers, and time on time they write letters talking about market sentiment and what they feel about market. So you can read their hedge fund letters directly from the tool. This is going to open one. Yeah, this was the latest. That's why I just picked up. You can download, you can print, you can read. Now I'm going to show you the most powerful thing, which is Copilot. Let's ask something here. And before we ask, let's do a vis a vis comparison with the free tools. So for that, I'm going to go to Open AI and I'm going to write the same question here. And a quick disclaimer I do own this stock. So let's ask Open AI that why there is such a big downturn about this stock and let's see what it has to answer as of february 14th there are no report indicating that why it is down okay now let's ask the same question to our co-pilot because i asked this question already but let me just put it again just to show you what happened when you ask a question it is actually browsing all the articles and acquiring data and you can see sound home stock is experiencing significant decline primarily due to regulatory filing, reveal NVIDIA has dissolved its stake, obviously, which makes sense. And this stock is down by 20, 23%. It is also asking, giving you a suggestion for related questions. What are the common reasons for a company's stock drop and so on. Let's go and ask some more questions. And you can see, we don't have to mention the ticker. It can actually recognize itself. Let's see what OpenAI's view on this. Not giving a many number and uh, sources this time. It is purely opinion let's go and see what our finchat.io has to say about this it is browsing article and acquiring data some of these overlaps future prospect in the investor sentiment however you can see it is giving you a crisp information that moderna reported a significant loss blah 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 and revenue and sales were decreased and that's why there was a downturn here right However, the pro future prospect, because it's counting on seasonal flu and all those things, that's why probably the investor sentiments are a little up upbeat. So this help you. So this chatbot is really looking into real-time information and give you a pointers to make your decision really fast. So that's the best thing. And you can also create a case studies. Like I want to show you 
Deckers versus Nike, uh, which is a better buy. It create a comparison, back to back comparison, and all those things, performance comparison, and then you can drill down from there. What factors should I consider when company comparing brands like Decker and Nike? So I feel this is a better use. No tool has a crystal ball how the stocks will do today and tomorrow, but these kind of research and the related questions prompting is really helpful to make your research stand out. That's why I really like Finchart.io. This is your ultimate research tool. If you like, go ahead and subscribe using my affiliated link shown in screen. Link is in description and enjoy. Thank you.